The National Highways Authority of India was established with a vision to meet the nation's need for provision and maintenance of national highways network up to global standards and to meet the users' expectations in the most time-bound and cost-effective manner. This is to be done within the strategic policy framework set up by the Government of India and thus promote the economic well-being and quality of life of the people of India. The National Highways Authority of India was set up by an Act of the Parliament called the Energy I Act in 1988. It was an act to provide for the constitution of an authority for the development, maintenance and management of national highways and for the matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. It has been entrusted with National Highways Development Project which along with other minor projects has vested in it over 50,000 kilometers of national highways for development, maintenance and management keeping its commitment to encourage the use of waste material to build ecologically sustainable national highway infrastructure. The National Highways Authority of India, along with the Department of Fertilizers, Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers, is going to take up field trials on the National Highways Authority of India projects. The aim here is to assess the use of phosphor gypsum in national highway construction, achieve a circular economy in the use of gypsum. Phosphor gypsum is a byproduct of fertilizer production. An Indian fertilizer company has already constructed a road using phosphor gypsum. This road was evaluated by the Central Road Research Institute that is the CRRI and based on their report, the Indian Road Congress, the IRC, has accredited, neutralized, not radioactive, phosphor gypsum waste material for road construction for a period of three years. The fertilizer company and CRRI have been asked to take up field trials on an NHAI project to evaluate the performance of phosphor gypsum on national highways and to generate confidence among various stakeholders on the use of its waste material in national highway construction. The National Highways Authority of India is also encouraging the use of waste plastic in road construction which has already been tested successfully. Studies have established that roads built using plastic waste are durable, sustainable and increase the life of bitumen. Construction of one kilometer of a four-lane highway helps in the disposal of approximately seven tons of plastic waste. Similarly, the National Highways Authority of India has used fly ash, a fine residue of coal combustion in thermal power plants that is the TPPs, for construction of highways and flyover embankments. The 135 km long 6-lane Eastern Peripheral Expressway used approximately 1.2 crore cubic meters of fly ash in its construction. The NHAI has been encouraging the use of innovative new materials and has focused on reducing the carbon footprint, enhancing durability and making mukans and making construction more economical and ecologically sustainable.